Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are talking about the Leap Motion. Now, it's been almost like a year now, I believe it's been a year that we did a video about this Leap Motion controller and all I can tell you, there's so many things on this Leap Motion that has changed and I would love to go over this with all of you guys. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Roll the intro. So as you guys probably have seen from the latest video that you can find right here, um, we were talking about the Leap Motion Controller. And the Leap Motion Controller, for the people who do not know what it is, it's basically a 3D artificial Leap Motion Controller that tracks motion, especially your fingers in this case. Now, most of you guys who have watched my other videos on this Leap Motion Controller probably recognize the box as well. Now, I gotta say, this Leap Motion Controller has been out there for a very long time now. And honestly, this thing still keeps on improving. A lot of people think that the Leap Motion Controller is pretty much out of date, which is definitely not the case. Um, because this thing has been around like for six, seven years now, I believe. It's a controller, which is very small. Like I'm gonna compare this, for example, to one of my figures, to the people who know League of Legends, for example, this is Jinx. And I'm gonna show you the controller next to Jinx which is very small. Now you can see it's almost as big as this pop figure, but I gotta say for people who do a lot of like 3D building, people who work with Unity, with Blender, or even like by like working with hand motion and signatures, this is definitely your go-to. Now you can see it's a very small device. It, it plugs in with a HDMB cord and not a HDMI, but a HDMB, it's like a shorter version. And honestly, there's so many things we have to go over because it's been a whole year. There's been so many updates on this thing. And I honestly thought it was probably best to just hop into the video, get over some things new on the Leap Motion Controller, and let's see what we can find about this whole device. So since we're here now looking at the Leap Motion Controller, there's been a lot of things that came to mind. So I'm gonna basically, we're gonna walk this through, we're gonna scroll down, read some things about the Leap Motion Controller and see what's new. So we can see here, it's small, fast, accurate, world-class hand tracking for anyone and anywhere. The Leap Motion Controller is an optical hand tracking module, which you can basically see as it's like a very small, it's almost like as big as a USB, which I also said in the other video that I created. It captures the movements of your hands with unparalleled accuracy from XR to touchless kiosks. The Leap Motion Controller makes interaction with digital content natural and effortless. So there's like a few images below here. I'll post the unboxing that I have as well below the video. And I'll post some pictures along the way on the screen right now where you can see what's inside the box. So basically, as you can see, it starts with the box right here and eventually you unbox it. All you get is a manual, the box it's inside, you get the USB to HDMB cord, and then you get the Ultra Leap sensor or the dongle as they call it. So basically what you do is you connect it to your computer by the cable, and eventually the sensor will pick up your hand motion, your hand signatures. So what we can see here are the key features. It's robust and reliable skeletal model motion to photon latency below the human perception threshold and its development and public use certified by CE, FCC, CAN and ICES3. Basically meaning that if you have it, for example, here underneath your hands, you can like use your hands to move around your mouse. Eventually I'll make a video when I connect this device as well to the computer and I'll show you exactly what it's used by. So you can see that there's three different parts on this Leap Motion controller which hand tracking product is right for you. Now there's like a through, like there's three things right now that are being compared to. So you can see that you can buy it from a distributor. You can buy the stereo IR 170 model from ultra leap and the evaluation kit. So there's like three differences here. And we can see that the leap motion controller that we have in this video is evaluated and it has a deployment rate, especially in usage case. And we can see it's an 80 millimeter length times 30 millimeter it's an 80 millimeter length times 30 millimeter and the width, which is 11.3. You 
Now we can see that it's certified for public use. You can see that the Leap Motion is certified for public use and the other two, the Stereo IR-170 and the Stereo IR-170 Evaluation Kit are basically not meant for public use. Now the tracking range for the Leap Motion is a little bit less, but always better than the other alternatives in this video. We can see that the field of view is a little bit smaller. We can see it's 140 by 120 and it's a typical field of view in comparison to the 170 by 170 degree view. It's not a lot, but obviously in this view, I have to be completely transparent. So it's a little bit different. You can get this device right now, especially from distributors for about $129.99. Um, so this is like the whole new thing. And especially when we go to what's included, we can see that you get the Leap Motion controller, you get the USB 2.3 hybrid cable. It's like again, it's the HDMI B with a high speed of 2.0. Now there's a lot of things like software tools and support. You can basically screenshot this. I'm not gonna go over every single detail. Um, you can see like a little overlook. You can see they use it with Unreal plugins. They use it with Unity, especially with like game development. Um, it has like a touch-free application. So there's like a lot of application you can use and to admire yourself with what you wanna use it. So you can see what's included. You get the controller, a quick setup guide, and a USB 2.3 hybrid cable. So this is basically everything about the website. And this is basically an overlook on what's new about the device. And honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Since I've had this Leap Motion controller, I have probably, like, I still use my mouse. But honestly, with, like, like designing and things, this thing is seriously your go-to. You can see it has like a little black screen here that will track your sensor and especially your hands in this case. And on the rubberized back, you can see that it says Leap Motion. Now, honestly, guys, I got to say that Ultra Leap did a phenomenal design. This thing has been around now for like six, seven years, I believe, and it's been in the making for quite some time as well. And honestly, all you need to do is plug and play. You plug it in, it tracks your signature and your hand movement. and that's all there really is. It's a phenomenal device, especially like for $129.99 for what you get, this is literally a steal. And again, this thing has been around. This thing is still being up to date. A lot of updates are coming through new features and it's, it's always fun doing like leap motion videos because I always get excited about products that are still being up to date. Like there's so many products that I can review and some people will be like, Ah, it's a discontinued product or they don't like make it anymore or but this device has been around for so long now and people are still like using it funny little tip and a funny little feature there's a video on youtube where elon musk the owner and ceo of tesla and spacex and even more uh is using this device as well it's been like a couple of years ago since he used it but to have somebody so fortunate almost i believe the like most fortunate person in the world right now using this device definitely sends out a message and you know that wraps it up for this video honestly guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i do want to disclaim that this is not a sponsored product like ultra leap did not ask me to make this video i just did it because it's been a very long time since i've made a video on the leap motion controller and honestly i thought it was really nice to do it again because it's been some time it's still an incredible device um, and I have a lot of fun, like explaining what the product is, what it does. And I do want to know that if there's like any questions down below, then do make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the notification bell to always be up to date with my newest videos. If you want to see my other videos about the Leap Motion Controller, they will be right here. And if you're interested about anything else on my channel, then you can always contact me through the comments, through my social media. So anyway, guys, do make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I would highly appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao guys